Oh, how everyone has such a short-term memory. A mere six months ago, there wasn't food on grocery store shelves. Now, people are acting as if things are going back to normal. Is staying locked inside like a rat for six months normal? To most people it is. So I guess anything else they bring up is going to be the new normal. What's really crazy is how easily the media is able to continually lie and gaslight the masses into submission. One sentence saying, cases are at an all time high, it's a catastrophe, we're at the peak. The next sentence saying, kids are going back to school, make sure to pack up your mask with your pencils. Are people so mentally inept, they can't recognize what is being said to them? Or is it the combination of poisonous food, water, radiation, the psychological warfare that is getting to them? Everyone is sitting inside with half a refrigerator full of food while these elites have commercial sized freezers packed to the brim with meat. I'm sure you've all noticed the increase in food prices over the past few months. I've seen grass fed ground beef go from seven to eight dollars a pound up to eleven even twelve dollars a pound and it's probably going to increase more and more over the next few months. Major Australian supermarket warns of a nationwide food shortage after stage 4 lockdown restrictions slash capacity at abattoirs and hit distribution centers. Top supermarket warned of national food shortage due to stage 4 restrictions. Alliance of supermarkets argued restrictions will disrupt grocery store supply chain. Victorian distribution centers and abattoirs forced to cut production by a third. A grocery store chain has asked the task force to take concerns direct to Prime Minister. Victorian distribution centers have been forced to reduce their workforce to two thirds of normal production during the six week lockdown. These lines and restrictions that are now happening in Australia are what we saw months ago in the United States. Cedar Meats Meatworks in Melbourne which had an outbreak in May. Meatworks in Victoria are being forced to reduce their production to two thirds. An empty Swanson Street is seen at night in the Melbourne CBD during the stage 4 lockdown due to the continuing spread of carbon in time. So this stage 4 restriction started Sunday August 2nd, one week ago and it's planned for six more weeks. It's been so so obvious when all of these different countries are working together to shut things down. There is no separate leadership. We as a planet are ruled by one world government and have always been. Now it's just a matter of them implementing this on a more public scale. You don't have to look far to know that food shortages have been the start to all communist and socialist like ruling. Remember. These are not laws or mandatory actions. The Australian government is creating panic in the media and guiding people to do exactly what they want them to do. This is all planned, all orchestrated. Of course, the sheep will line up like a bunch of dominoes that don't know what's going to happen. You're going to get toppled over and crashed down because you set yourselves up for it. That's the thing. If people didn't cooperate with this BS, if these evil, satanic, crazy psycho lunatics didn't have control over people's minds with the poison in the food and the water, the media, what they're spraying in the air, they would be powerless. It is crazy. It is absurd that the government is showing their hand that they can starve out the population and people aren't doing anything. These government officials go over to these abattoir slaughterhouses processing plants, tell them they have to shut down and then farmers are culling their livestock in the field, plowing fresh produce under because they have no venue to transport or sell their food. No one is dying outside of a hospital. They're targeting these meat processing plants with radiation from the new cellular infrastructure, making the workers sick. They can target whatever they want. This is how they're going to take meat away. Take meat away and make everyone a slave because their minds and energy fade without animal nutrition. This is like the government coming to your house saying the eggs from your backyard chickens are no good, throwing them out and then taking that garbage away. If they weren't so clever in disguising their actions with this fake nonsense, it's just so disgusting what they're able to do for the safety of everyone under the charade. Yeah, the only safe people are the elites hiding in their bunkers like a bunch of cowardly rats. Not just Australia though, they have to stage this everywhere. Everything is gone. Flooding in China ruins farmers and risks rising food prices. By this time of year, the rice grown in Bao Wentao's family farm should have been ready to harvest. Instead, heavy flooding has engulfed huge swaths of southern China. 
including more than 36 acres of rice fields that 19-year-old Bao and his father tend in their village near Payang Lake. The crops have completely failed, Bao told CNN Business in an interview over the social media app WeChat, adding that his family has already lost roughly 200,000 yuan worth of produce. The rice was nearly ripened and ready to harvest before the flooding, but now everything is gone. Surging floodwater burst the banks of Payang Lake in Jiangxi province last month, destroying thousands of acres of farmland in what's known as the land of fish and rice. The broader Yangtze River Basin, which includes Payang Lake and stretches more than 3,900 miles from Shanghai in the east to the Tibetan border in the west, accounts for 70% of the country's rice production. The flooding that walloped Bao's farm and 13 million more acres of cropland about the size of West Virginia is the worst that China has experienced in years. China's Ministry of Emergency Management pegs the direct economic costs of the disaster at 21 billion in destroyed farmland, roads, and other property. Some 55 million people, including farmers like Bao, have been affected. North Korea was hit with these floods as well. So who's to say what's really going on? I don't know how much of this is fear-mongering or predictive programming. I don't know if they're orchestrating this flooding through their control of the weather. The food supply does not apply to the elite. They have their own animals, their own farms, their own gardens are well taken care of. This is the food for the people of the world that is being taken away to force reliance on the government. When you make the majority of the population dependent on food banks, government handouts, people are going to get very desperate and will give up anything if it means not going hungry. Lower the standards of living to just having a meal in your stomach. So Australia locks down and intentionally deprives people of food. China and Korea are flooded and Beirut says the grain stores were destroyed by the chemical explosion. It's kind of funny because in first world countries, they can starve the sheeple by just telling them to stay home and that the meat is icky. But in other countries where people have some balls left, they have to blow up or destroy the food. I don't know, I'm trying to stay positive and optimistic throughout all of this, but judging by what's happened so far, we've been locked in tight for six months. Big things are still going to happen and I don't know what the near future is going to look like. Are they just fear-mongering people into purchasing more food because now people aren't buying food in the supermarkets, they already have stocks? I know there's been quite a few steak placements in major cooking channels on YouTube. If you've noticed over the past week or two, just about everyone is shoving steak recipes down people's throats and that's subtle marketing to get people to buy steaks off grocery store shelves. Whatever food trends you see online, whatever you see them cooking on TV, that's what they want you to buy in the supermarket. That's what foods they're having a hard time selling. So despite all this fear mongering about the food supply, about things being taken away, they're still marketing food to people. So. Again, you know, we're walking that fine line of, on one hand, they're advertising a food product. On the other hand, they're saying they're gonna starve you to death. So, uh, I I'm just here to present information to you guys and give you guys my thoughts. So, let me know what you think. But thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you can, you know, leave me a comment down below, drop a like on the video, and above all guys, please share the video. If you do wanna support me further, you know how to do so down in the description below. Thanks again for joining me guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.